to the uh, those who are present in case there is someone who is subject. Um, and we do this on a regular basis uh, every time we meet. And to my surprise, I've learned that there are churches of Christ who don't do this every time they meet. And I would ask myself why that would be, but it is true. But we, we do extend the invitation every time, and there are several reasons why. Uh, there may be more, one or more lost souls in the audience, and you never know who may be here who needs to hear the gospel and uh, obey it because uh, we just don't know how much time we have left. Also, all men need salvation. In Romans chapter 3 and verse 23, we read that all have sinned and fall short of the glory of God. Also in Acts chapter 4 and verse 12, <clears throat> we read that no, there is no other, excuse me, nor is there salvation in any other, for there is no other name than Christ under heaven. I, I put that then Christ in there. There is no other name under heaven given among men which by, by which we must be saved. Also, there is no second chance after death. We learned this from uh, reading the story of uh, the rich man and Lazarus that Todd brought a lesson to us recently about in Luke chapter 16. And we learned from that text that the rich man asked for water to cool his tongue after he had been uh, taken to, to a place of torment, but he received none. His request to have Lazarus go and warn his five brothers not to come to that place of torment was refused. And besides, there is a great gulf fix between the place of torment and paradise, and one cannot pass from one to the other. So one's fate is sealed once he passes from this life into the next one. There are no second chances. Also in Hebrews uh, chapter 9 and verse 27, we read, It is appointed for men to die once, and after this, the judgment. There are those who believe in reincarnation, but this verse tells us there is no such thing. And then, those who have not obeyed the gospel will, will be condemned. In 2 Thessalonians verse, chapter 1, verses 7 through 9, we read, And to you who are troubled, rest with us, when the Lord Jesus is revealed from heaven with his mighty angels in flaming fire, taking vengeance on those who do not know God, and on those who do not obey the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ. These shall be punished with everlasting destruction, from the presence of the Lord. I always forget to turn this thing on. I'm almost done now. <laughs> there it is. <laughs> and lastly, the Lord could return at any moment. Um, he could even return right now. No one knows when he will return. Not even the Son. Not the Son, Jesus, doesn't know. Only the Father knows. We read that in Mark chapter 13, verses 32 and 33. And also in Hebrews chapter 10, verse 31, it is a fearful thing to fall into the hands of the living God. You know, if I fall into the hands of the living God, I want him to cuddle me and cover me and transfer me into his heavenly home rather than to toss me into a hell of burning fire. So that's the choice that we have, and we, we need to be prepared so that we will be on the right side. Uh, when we fall into the hands of the living God. Are you ready? If you're not ready, don't be like the five foolish virgins in Matthew chapter 25 who were not properly prepared for the coming of the bridegroom. And while, went to, while they went to buy oil, the bridegroom came and the door was shut. So be ready and get ready if you're not. If you're not a Christian, a child of God, then you need to believe on Jesus, Mark chapter 16, verse 16. Repent of your sins in Luke chapter 13 and verse 3, and also Acts chapter 17 and verse 30. Be willing to confess your faith in Christ, and that's in Romans 10, verses 9 and 10. And then be baptized for the remission of your sins, Acts 2 and verse 38, Acts 22 and verse 16, 1 Peter 3 and 21, and many other passages. <clears throat> and then be willing to live faithfully to the Lord until the day you die. Revelations 2 and verse 10. On the other hand, if you are an erring child of God, and then you need to repent of your sinful ways and ask God for forgiveness. And in 1 John chapter 1 and verse 9, he has promised that he will forgive you 
of those things. So if you have a need to respond to the invitation this evening, we, we encourage you to come as we stand and sing the song selected. <laughs> 